Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. And howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do with Wells Knight on the Hermitcraft server. As we always do. Always. Always. We have a quest. We have a, a, a very important quest of questiness. You can't start question without quest, and the question that Tinfoil Chef had earlier today was, how did I fall into a terrifying pit full of monsters when I was just digging in the municipal district? And the answer is, when people were creating this lovely ravine, um, they got lazy and didn't light the whole thing up very well. Yep. I had originally suggested we cover the whole thing with glass, and other people didn't like that idea because apparently it was going to be too fancy. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of slowly mop up and light up, just onward and upwards, this entire region here. That's the plan. We're going to... There are quite a few mobs around here. Ow! Did you just hit me? No, I that's feel... that skeleton. Oh, that's the skeleton. I'm, I'm attacking right. him. Don't jump between me and him. Yeah, so our, our goal is to light this thing up and uh, ensure that it's safe for everyone who accidentally breaks blocks and falls down here. Yeah, so let's say that you're Tinfoil Chef 2.0, because obviously most people are not Tinfoil Chef, but you might be the once in future Tinfoil Chef. Why there are so many skeletons. Whoa, I'm getting shot at by yep. a skeleton. There's like, they're everywhere. <laughs> Dang it, this one's got armor. Who sold a skeleton armor? Man, you are a pincushion. I'm sure I am. Oh, and it's going to be nighttime soon. Oh, fan well, actually, that's probably better for us, because that means that they won't spawn down here. Oh, that's true. I noticed that you're using netherrack. Yeah, it's one of the most abundant sources of fuel on the server. And so much cheaper than torches. Oh, yeah, and I don't have to, like, sell my soul to some sort of log fellows or anything like that. Yeah, those log fellows, they'll get you. I gotta say, like, I understand that it's a, like, a pun on the Freemasons or whatever, but I just don't feel super comfortable joining, like, secret organizations. I feel like that sets a, a bad... Like, you know, some of my fans are, like, little children, and I don't want them thinking, like, oh, we gotta make secret clubs. Like, you know, it's fun to make clubhouses, but, like, oh. encouraging secrecy in this th sort of stuff. I don't know. It just rubs me the wrong way. Yeah, fair enough. I, I, can, I can understand that. Nothing wrong with it for Wells and... Oh, that's a witch. That's a witch. That, that's sorry, witch. not Wells. Okay, that now I'm backing into a creeper. Ah, uh, two witches. Two witches. They're new on the ABC. Uh, all right, we're good. And I got him. Oh, yeah, he should be slowly passing out. Okay, okay. so we're, we're making progress down here. Whew. It was, it's a close one. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, I'm just going to put more fire everywhere. So if some, somebody's going to fall down here and be like, I'm so glad there are no mobs, but I'm on fire. That's going to happen. Probably. Yeah, like uh, Tinfoil Chef 3.0. Uh, My money's we'll... on Rendog. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, Rendog. There's a skeleton over here, too. Can I set him on fire? No. Okay. Oh, and there's a cave. Oh, hi, creepers. Yeah, there's, like, little caves uh, all throughout this upper right. deck here. Okay. Like, if you were making upper deck baseball cards, they would be full of creepers. This is true. Oh, this is the bottom of my shop. That creeper destroyed part of my shop. Uh-oh. What is the point of that building, anyway? It's not, is it a shop, or is it, like, an, a commercial office building type thing? Which one? The, um... The big, tall one. The, my law office? Yeah, okay. So, so like, I know your law office is in that building, but it seems like you have a lot of space available. I do. I do. It's, uh, it houses my law office. False has her, uh, her, like, business license office there. Gotcha. And there are still a couple of offices available for rent as well. So if I wanted to, like, rent space for a recording studio, I, I should clearly go to you. Absolutely. I don't we know. Have premium yeah. space available. Excellent. Whoa, I didn't realize how far that goes out this way. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to immediately ender pearl onto one of my own fires. That sounds like an excellent plan. Okay, is this... I think this is relatively safe. Yeah, now, I'm I worried think. about stuff coming in from over this wall here. Dang it. There's a bunch of these, though, spread, like, throughout the whole everything. Oh, this goes a ways. I didn't realize how... Dude, there's a whole second canyon here. Maybe he fell into this part. Well, it's weird. Uh, oh, I see you. 
come here. This is like insane. This is this is probably where he actually fell. I think we thought he fell in over here. Because that looked bad. Oh. Oh yeah. But this is it, man. Yeah, I think you are probably correct. This is this is probably the one. Out of the firing pan and into the fire. I never really understood that expression. Well, because a lot of firing pans would usually be placed on stoves or places that would generate heat. So the idea is that you've moved yourself from, ah, that's a spider, that's a spider, that's a spider, that's a spider. Uh, a location where you <laughs> might be indirectly exposed to heat via conduction through the metal of the pan, but you are now being directly exposed directly to the, the heat of the flame, the radiant so like, heat. So it's like science and stuff. Yes. Whoa, that's a skeleton. Oh, hi, zombie. Was there another one? There's one. Oh! Oh! I'm falling. I'm okay. Oh, his... I'm out of torches. Oh, I'm not out, out. I just need to get... Go away, skeleton. Don't you see why I brought all this netherrack now? The odds of running sense. out of that are way lower. This is true. I brought, like, four stacks myself. Oh, wow. But I've just been using torches because it's much faster and easier. And I'm all about efficiency. Yeah, I'm thinking this is definitely the one where he actually fell. Creeper. Oh, I heard I heard that one. I was like, he can't get into this. He can. He did. I'll do that to you. Mm -hmm. Torch. Oh. It's Man. like, this, this brings back memories of playing like old CTM maps. Uh, Super Hostile, for example. Yeah, exactly. That was a long time ago. That's an enchanted bow of some sort. Dang it, skeleton. Well, you got a baby zombie after you. I got him. Nice. Are we... Oh, there's one down there. We're kind of closing in. Slowly but surely. I might actually run out of flint and steel charges. Uh, if you do, you can borrow my flint and steel. Oh, that would be awesome. Okay, so now I'm in the center of where all this terribleness is. The center, the belly of the beast? Well, it looks like we've drawn most of the beasts out, fortunately. You know, while I'm next to you, can I grab that other flint and steel? There you go. Thank you. It's like the, the Shadowlands. From... I think it's Lion King, isn't it? Where he's like, those are the Shadowlands, Simba. You must never go there. Yeah, that... Uh, is that what they call it? I just know that's like the elephant graveyard. Yeah. I'm guessing the elephants go there to die and they don't, like, drag their corpses there because that would be really heavy for, like, lions and antelopes and gazelles to do. I, I'm thinking you're probably right. Or maybe there was some sort of, like, catastrophic event. Oh, that's true. And yeah. all the elephants were having like a like a birthday party or something, and something terrible happened. Yeah, or or like the elephants were like sword fighting, and one of them poisoned another one's cup, and then they all drank from it or something. Mm. That's probably the most likely scenario now that I think. About well, this it. is based, you know, Lion King is based on Hamlet, so that just all comes back that's, together, full circle. That's true. That actually, now that I think about it, that is actually a good point. I bet a lot of people didn't even know that. So let's not shoot the Enderman with an arrow. Ow! Oh, let's shoot the creeper though. Oh, he's he's like jumping around. Um, what do you I, call yeah, it? I shot. I shot him in the face. There we go. Enderman's dead. His screams live on. They do. I'm so glad I have my monster volume turned like way, way down because they are so loud. That's a good move, yeah. Endermen are, like, disproportionately loud compared with everything else in the game. Well, they're disproportionately terrifying, too. That's true. Okay. All right, I think, and this is all outside the camp. Ooh, that's a very deep hole. That's a very deep hole. Yeah, do we have to light that up? Let's fall down that. This is, uh, that's going to be where, where uh, Tinfoil Chef falls down next time. Hmm. Do I have Ender Pearls? I do. So if we don't light it, we're going to be doing him a disservice. I agree. Oh! That's all right. We I'm, I'm going to try and keep Lights. guard to make sure nothing jumps down on you. Although, I'm in the pit now, too, so I can't really see anything. 
All right, I think we're good. There's nothing. Ooh, I, I fell again. Uh oh. There's a very large cave down here too. But it's. I feel not like you'd have to purposely fall into that one. Well, maybe. I I think you're probably correct. Do, do we need to light another huge cave? I might as well come down. I think we're good. Oh, there we go. Do you have ender pearls? Yeah, I got six left. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I don't think we can accidentally fall down here. I think we're good. Okay, so we should probably test this by going up to the location that uh, TFC was, like, working on and then trying to accidentally fall to our deaths without dying. Accidentally fall? Yes, this is a great idea. Do you happen to know where he was working? He said he was making some sort of Christmas thing over here, and I'm looking at this, and he's—it looks like he's turning the green grass into red and green stripes, like a hmm. Christmas package. Oh, wait, wait, wait! This is the actual hole. This must be the hole. Come here. I'm, Do you see I'm, me? Uh, I see your name tag. I gotta figure out how to get up there. Okay. Probably easier just to just go outside and come around. Yeah. Oh, are you still? You're inside still? Yeah, yeah I'm still in the. Uh, I'm. I'm Jonah at the moment in the belly of the whale indeed all right yeah so i get the impression he was working on this when he fell down here oh this would have been a hard place to fall just 10 minutes ago yeah that would have been very unfortunate i, th I think i see exactly what happened and then yeah he was unable to escape you know, it's a shame that we don't have... Uh, I don't have any slime blocks to quickly just, like, put a little bounce pad here in case he... You know what we could do? What? We can make sure that nobody accidentally falls in this hole ever again. How so? Follow me and I will show you. Follow in whales to learn something new. I think in my ender chest I have what we need. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I have an iron trap door, a nether warp block. I don't think I have I was anything gonna, else. I, I usually carry obsidian in my ender chest. Oh. And I was going to put an obsidian block right there. But it seems I am fresh out of obsidian. That's most unfortunate. It is. It is indeed. Um, I don't suppose there's any like random obsidian lying around we could just you know take. But you know what we could do? Here's what we could do. So when you're mining clay you're using a pickaxe right mm -hmm. which is obviously the uh the tool of choice so i figure if i put a random jungle wood log right there you'll never accidentally mine that out ever again perfect it'll do i i declare it safe and then just so he doesn't get like lose it in the dark i'll make it easier to see great plan great plan indeed <laughs> <laughs> It's totally... What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, I mean, we've got fuel, we've got oxygen, we got heat. That I, is the perfect warning mechanism. I mean, to be entirely honest, I think instead of the, uh, the jungle with log, we should probably just make sure that this whole little strip is very lit up. And, you know, no one will accidentally... The people will notice it immediately. It's like a giant danger sign. Oh, yeah. I think I think we have done more than our duty to protect the server from whatever terrors of the night might lurk below. Our quest is complete. Indeed. Indeed. I W. Joe Knight. Ow. Knight of Knight that's, of Hermitcraft. That's that's pretty warm. A little toasty. You'll be all right. Yeah. It's well, only a flesh wound. I'm one of those hot nights. Think July. Yeah, it's just a flesh. It's just a flesh wound. You'll be fine. Cool. Well, it has been fun, Wells. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Leave us both a comment. You'll find a link to Joe's video once it goes up in the description, so check that out if you want to see it from his perspective. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.